Well, students, here we are at the finish line, sort of. It's been said many times in these last few weeks and months, hasn't it been? This is not the experience that you or I expected. Man, I was so looking forward to seeing each and every one of you walk across the Sinta Center stage, shake your hand, catch your smile, look into your eye, and then take a picture afterwards with your family and friends. Let's hope that that will still happen just on August 8th. I've marked my calendar for sure. I've missed you so much over these past weeks. All the ceremonies, the fun, the final this, the last that. I hope you've enjoyed this past week. I hope you had a lot of fun watching all those final lectures from faculty and staff, the social media posts that you've all made, the videos that have been created from your best memories. It's been quite a week. But you know, it occurred to me that I shouldn't let the faculty and staff who submitted their final lectures have all the fun. And so here's my turn, your final pop quiz. But don't worry, I won't grade it. And your diploma certainly does not depend upon it. Rather, what I'd like you to do is to think back over your time, to get a fresh sense of it, and especially to get a fresh sense of the person you were and the person you've become along the way. Ready? Here we go. Oh, you just might want to close your eyes as you let these questions roll around a little bit inside you. First, what was your best unplanned evening ever in the last four years? where you didn't know what you were going to do, and then something happened. And aren't you grateful for it? Was there a book you read somewhere along the way that changed things for you? Or a service experience, maybe? Or a professor? What exactly was that change, and why are you grateful for it? Who are the people that you didn't even know when you arrived here but are now such an important part of your life that you can't even imagine your life without them? And out of all of those people, is there one person in particular? And is there something you'd like to say to that person? Was there ever a time when you hurt someone such that you needed to apologize? And you did. What was that like for you, growing up in that way? Or was there a time that you really, really needed someone and someone was there for you? What was that time? What did you need? Who is that person? Or flip it. Was there a time somebody else needed someone to be with them? And what do you know? There you were. Was there a time where you really, really cried? Or might have cried? Or maybe should have cried? or a time when you really, really, no, I mean really, needed to pray. Or how about this? What was the biggest, loudest, longest, side-splittingest, hardest laugh you can remember across all these years? You were outside your skin or maybe not even the last four years, what was the most recent one? What was the biggest challenge that you faced during your time here, do you think? And out of all you have to be proud of, and you've got a lot to be proud of, what are you the most proud of? 
Have there been times when you've caught a glimpse of yourself out of the corner of your eye, a glimpse of yourself as one day, you know, you just might be, or you could be, or you should be with all your best talents and your best gifts, especially when you use them for someone else. Where are you now that you were not less than four short years ago or so? And could it be, could it be that the difference between the you you were then and the you you are now is somehow God? God breathing in you, God coming to richer life in you, God making a temple in you, moving in you and through you and for you and for the world, and without you ever being aware of it. Could that just be, do you think? Could that just be? Okay, time to open up your eyes. Thank you for that little trip down memory lane, each and every one of you. It's important for us to step back from the rush of things, to get a sense of what's been happening in our lives and to look at it again and see things we may have missed the first time through because that helps us to move forward which then brings us to this time now. Excuse me, I, I feel a little underdressed. There. Don't I look official now? And I need to, because this is official business. Because the time has come to say goodbye. You know, for most of you traditional undergrads, we've been together for four years. I spoke with many of you at Manriso, remember that? Welcoming you to Xavier into this important era of your life, which comes to an end today. Some of you transferred in from other schools to complete your degrees. Still others of you have walked a non-traditional route all your own to get you to this day. And now, why your Xavier degrees will take all of you down other roads. They'll open up doorways for you everywhere you go. Of course, as with all journeys in life, you never walked this journey alone, not one step of it. You are to be congratulated for sure for all the hard work, the dedication that has got you to today. But it's also important for you to stop and thank those who also helped get you here. I know our faculty are so very pleased to see you graduate. And I'd like to thank them for their incredible dedication to the Xavier Spirit, especially as that Xavier Spirit has come alive in you. And certainly what they've done in these last few weeks is astonishing. And then, of course, there are those who have been your first teachers and your best teachers, your parents, your guardians, your family, your friends, many of whom are likely watching this with you right now today. From my heart, Thank all of you so very much for the roles you have played in the success of these wonderful, wonderful students, your sons and daughters, and now ours as well. You know, several years ago, student leaders here at Xavier drafted, and the university administration and trustees then approved and endorsed the Xavier Way Student Commitment. It's an aspirational statement that articulates the values of our Xavier University community, and it calls all students to live them out. It's now become an important part of our commencement ceremony through which our graduating students tell the world who they are. And while I know this may be a little bit awkward to do this from your living room or your kitchen, we're gonna give it a shot, so get over it because this has become a Xavier tradition and you will not be Xavier graduates unless you do this. Got it? So I'm gonna lead you through it phrase by phrase and I encourage you then to repeat those phrases together after me. We are Xavier Musketeers. Really. We are Xavier Musketeers. We are unique individuals 
who come together in the spirit of St. Ignatius to learn together, to serve together, and we will succeed in changing the world together. We act with integrity, justice, and generosity. All for one and one for all. All for one and one for all. Awesome job, Musketeers, awesome job. Now, I have heard it said that a few of you may still have a course or two to complete along the way just to make sure you can graduate, so I encourage you to be attentive to all those details. But I'm so very excited for each and every one of you. You have so much to look forward to. You don't have a clue. A world awaits you. A world in need of your talents, in need of your spirit, in need of your love. Your love. And so now, what remains for me is only this. To welcome each and every graduate into the extended Xavier Nation and to proclaim you as what indeed you are, cherished and respected alumni of Xavier University forever. Oh, awesome, awesome. Congratulations, Musketeers. I cannot wait to see you again. I hope it's very soon.